G'day Big Bear, welcome back to our weekly wrap championship. Women kick to kick off our women seniors here. We have Packenham falling short here at home, 70 to 90. Wyndham Wyndham continuing to look like the team that's just going to go undefeated for the season. Campbell also fell short at home to Sherbrooke, 71 to 80. Sherbrooke got a lead early mark and then I uh, believe Campbell sort of chipped away a little bit. Yeah, I think Sherbrooke was sort of seen as an opportunity to get their bench rolling. They got a bit of a lead. Um, and then Campbell um, really made that strong push in that last quarter, winning the quarter 21-9. to nine. Um, Eleni Valos was huge for Campbell with 20, uh, 22 points with 22 rebounds. Um, as they're starting to get, they, they've started to get majority of their roster back um, now, which I think is, is probably a bit of a sign as to why they're a little bit more competitive than what they were in the last sort of month or so of the season for um, Sherbrooke. As you'd expect, Portia Poole was huge, 27 points, 7 steals, um, and Carline with 17 points and 12 rebounds. Um, they are primed and ready for finals, those Sherbrooke sons. Yes, they are. Another team ready for finals is Boleyn as they got the win, 62 over McKinnon, 56. Boleyn just sort of did it by committee there, Mark. Yeah, just sort of cruised to a victory here. I don't think... Um, I don't think I'll be too stoked with the quality of game um, for them in terms of their preparation for final finals. Um, for McKinnon, Brianna Gray was was really solid. 18 points, 11 rebounds, and we've still got that question. Um, where is Emily Suckling? We might uh, have to give her a call to find out if she's okay, Absolutely. whether it's an injury, because I know they, they should be getting ready for finals, those those Cougar girls. But, uh, yeah, Bulleen literally had one person, the top scorer, with 10 points, and um, unfortunately, Olivia Bontempelli didn't have her best game. She... Couldn't hit the side of a barn in this one. Um, zero of 14 from the field, which is incredibly unusual. She's usually really efficient. So she'll probably bounce back next week, would imagine. Absolutely. Moving into Division One women now. During this whole week, it, it sort of had Mark and I sort of in uproar, really, because we're <laughs> trying to debate all, all these sort of resolutions of how the season was going to go. But it's worked out. Worked out well. We've had Warrnambool <laughs> got the win, 72 to Warrnambool. Very comfortable there for Warrnambool. We then had a game which meant quite a lot. Mildura got the win, 69 over Western Port, uh, away from home, 63. Now, this has sealed Mildura in third position. Is that right? Yeah, that's this locked up the uh, double chance for Mildura. They, there, there was potential for a three-way tie here, which makes things very ugly, but... Um, Tyra Johnson stepped up on the night with um, with the usual suspect, Vanessa Power. 24 points to Johnson to go with eight rebounds and four assists, while Power had 20 points with um, three assists, two steals. And, and they were huge. And, and this, you know, despite Billy Lucas being fantastic for the steals off the bench with 18 points, um, yeah, Mildura just were a little bit too much. And, and Westonport, I know they've suffered injuries um, on and off throughout the season, and I'm sure some of these girls are playing with it, but... Knowing the Western Port Steelers, this group, they will lift come finals time, Ted, and it's a bit of a watch this space. Absolutely, absolutely. Chelsea got the win, 71 over Craigie Byrne, 63. Chelsea, unfortunately, did not make the finals, but a very good win for them to round out uh, their season. Bellarine, I believe, came off a bye last week, I think. Uh, who then got to a win 79 over Melbourne Uni, 59. Yeah, they'll be really pleased with this performance. Georgia Valley, huge again for the uh, for, for the Storm, 22 points um, and five steals. But, like, they just had some really good contributors across the board. Olivia Vert got back to some back to some of her old form with 19 points, six rebounds and five steals. And, um, yeah, then you got the likes of Charlotte Armstrong, who just does a bit of everything. So, um for a group that's really sort of priming themselves, getting rid of finals, they'll be happy with this 20-point win um, and ability to get some of, the, some of the bench players involved in the game as well. For Melbourne Uni, probably a little bit of a disappointing end of the year um, for them, but hopefully they regroup and uh, get ready to fire next year. Absolutely. And to round out Div 1 women, we had Altona fall short at home against Warnable 61-67. to I believe Dakota Crichton had quite... Uh, a good all-round weekend here over there, doubleheader. Yeah, just she was close to making the starting five with um, her with both performances put together. Um, in this one, she had ten points to go with eighteen rebounds and five assists, and um, Amy Wormold also um, gearing up for finals with sixteen points and twelve boards. But uh, yeah, this one was really close. I know Eltona jumped them early, um, had control of the game early, which um, at the end of the day would have put them in a potentially a three-way tie um, if they had got the win. 
But uh, Warnable rallied and, and really had a good second quarter and it was sort of level level from there um, before then their six-point win. So well done to Warnable. I think that secured them um, first position on the ladder heading into finals. They get a bye for the first first week. Absolutely. Moving to Division 2 women here again. Another division moving into uh, our 2023 finals. We had, oh, sorry, apologies. They have one more week. Yeah, they have yeah one, one, more week. one more week for these girls. There we go. Blackburn got the win, 83 over Coburg, 74. We had Wallen get the job done at home, 83 over Gippsland, 75. Their win streak comes to an end, Ted. It's it always done. happens right at the end, doesn't it? Um, but well done to Wallen. They were huge. And I think the one that stands out for me is Olivia Dalmau. What a game from her. 19 points to go with eight assists. Um, obviously, Kyla Collins doing Kyla Collins things with 17 and 18. But um, the, the big thing they've been missing all season is that little bit of impact off the bench, Ted. And, and there's 30, point, um, 30 points off the bench between Buckley and Bickerton um, that have really helped the, the Panthers here cause the upset against Gippsland United. Yeah, this is fantastic. I love to see this. We had RMIT get a win, 82 over Collingwood, 71. A very good win there for RMIT. To then see Wallen finish up their great weekend, 2-0, getting the win, 92 over Surf Coast, 86. Kyla Collins, 33 points and 11 rebounds, was massive again. Um, you know, this was a full-strength Surf Coast side, um, which we haven't seen in a while, and and I tell you what, they'll cause they'll cause a little bit of a ruckus come finals time because oh, doubt it. at full strength, this Surf Coast team is is red hot um, with Hollywood, Hammond, Scannell, and I'm going to butcher this one, but I'll give it a go. Who Veld? Who Um They're all they're all really good players, and um, they gave it a good crack here against Wallen, who was running hot after a um, after a good win against Gippsland, and yeah, once again for Wallen, just more contributors, which which makes their life a little bit easier and. And what a time to be doing that just in the in the eve of on the eve of um, finals. Absolutely. Look, that'll be all for us. Uh, we'll catch you very, very soon. Finals is here.